Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three random drinks that are new to us. So I just put them together in one video. Uh, this is the new Ghost. It's called Phase Pop. Out of the Monster, um, Monster Energy Ultra Strawberry Dreams. And this one is the new Sunkiss Watermelon Lemonade. So the uh, the monster it was back out it was out back at uh, like Valentine's Day, but um, I I knew there were other drinks I wanted to try and so I wanted to hold on to it until I could find other things to put with it and so that's that's why I held on to it. So I know it was out at around Valentine's Day. I'm assuming you can still find it now though. Surely they wouldn't take it off the market. But all three drinks were bought at three different places. So the Ghost was bought at Speedway. It was $2.99. The Monster was bought at Clark's Pump and Shop and it was $3.29. Wow. We had only seen it before in like a four pack, I mm -hmm. think. Um, so yeah, $3.29. And the Sunkist was bought at Circle K and it was $2.39. So it was the cheapest one. So we're gonna try this Ghost first. I have no idea what it's supposed to taste like. It says Phase Pop. What does that mean? I, I don't even know um, what that means. Oh, it's showing a bomb pop. It is showing a bomb pop. Ah, all we'll right. See. Okay, there's a little picture of a bomb pop. If you're in another country, a bomb pop is a popsicle and it's red, white, and blue. And uh, we, it has three flavors. Yeah, uh, so uh, this is uh, 10 calories for the entire can. Pretty good. And usually you like to know... On an energy drink, you want to know how much caffeine it has. All right. I'm going to try to read it. It's vegan friendly, gluten free, soy free, it's sugar also very free. Tiny. <laughs> tiny uh, yeah, you see how I'm having to... Oh, okay. Let's see if it's... Uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine. There we go. Yeah, they wrote it really big. <laughs> what color do you think it's going to be? Red. It's like cloudy clear. You gotta give it a minute. It smells like a bomb pop. That is more of the blue part of the bomb pop. I totally agree. Like the blue raspberry kind of. Section. But but I do like it. Yeah, because it's like cherry and I don't know what the middle for pineapple maybe or something and then like a blue raspberry. Right. No, that I love the flavor of it, but I would yeah. agree with you. It, it is mainly that blue raspberry flavor. Yeah. But it. It's very sweet tasting. Do, do you get uh, some lemon too? There might be a little bit of a citrusy kind of flavor there. Yeah. You would never know necessarily that that was an energy drink. No, no, and and tastes be, like a flavored drink. It's a little thicker than like some of your flavored waters. Yes, it's a thicker texture, like a more syrupy texture. Mm -hmm. But but as far as flavors it goes, you would never know. I I love it. I think it's delicious. Yeah. I've said before, I wish they would make all these energy drinks and um, just keep out all the caffeine. Uh, so yeah, just we, so you have the flavor. So that we could have the flavor. We could have the flavor, but in a can like that. I really, really yeah, like it. the flavors are good. Um, this is the Monster Ultra Strawberry Dreams. It is also 10 calories for the whole can. Uh, some people swear that strawberries are aphrodisiacs. They say if you share a double strawberry with someone, they'll catch feelings for you. I've never heard that in my life. I doubt that's true. All I guess we, that's why they charge over strawberries. I, I, I had no idea where that got started. Uh, all we know is the flavor of the heart-shaped fruit is perfect for our new zero sugar, ultra wonderfully sweet, while slightly tart, this easy drinking ultra taste like a dream. Passionately crafted with the monster energy blend you crave. Take one sip and you'll be crazy for ultra strawberry dreams. Unleash the Ultra Beast. Um, I always like to read what Monster puts on their cans. Um, and sometimes they send us free cans. And that's always real nice. But this one, they, they just, they didn't, I never know when I'm, a company's going to send me something. And so, I, um, I didn't have a, a clue that this one was even out until I saw pictures. 150 milligrams. No, so it's less than the good. Still enough. <laughs> it's like two cups of coffee. What color do you think it's going to be? Uh, clear. It's so, a slightly pink color. It's pink. Yeah, it's like a... It's yeah. like champagne almost. Yeah, it's like a... Um, pink champagne. Very, very pink, yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. That tastes more orangey than... It does. It tastes more like an orange or a citrusy kind of drink than a strawberry drink. It does have an orange flavor. I think it's... It's, it's good. Just like with the, the ghost, I think it's very nice. Yeah. There's no harshness to or it. bitter or chemical or artificial flavor or anything like that. No, not at all. It's it's very, very pleasant to drink. But if you were to hand me and say, what flavor is this? I would say it was some kind of citrus. I would never in, in a million years say strawberry. No. No. It's really good though. But I like it and would get it again. <laughs> yeah. Totally get it again. I uh, wouldn't get it at Clark's Pump and Shop. <laughs> for for three twenty nine. I mean, good grief. Um, yeah, that seems excessive, but for me, it was worth it just to get to try it. So, yeah. you know, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it anywhere else in just the single can. Even at other, like, Speedway, I didn't see that at Speedway. So, um, so this, I don't have a glass for because we can see what color it is. This is the new Sunkissed Watermelon Lemonade. And there was another lemonade, I think a strawberry lemonade, and we already reviewed that on the channel. And um, so I know this had been out a couple of weeks before we got it here because I actually ran into the guy stalking them in Speedway and he said, oh, it's going to be another week for that here. Um, this is um, where those are energy drinks were 10 calories a can. This is 270 calories and it contains no juice. So don't expect to get any watermelon or lemon real stuff. Uh, but it is caffeine free, so those have caffeine, this does not. <laughs> the exact opposite of the reason yeah. you drink these. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This is the just the fun drink. It does taste like watermelon. It tastes like the white part of it. But I don't like it. I don't like it either. Yeah. It tastes like the, if you ever eat watermelon and you're eating the red part, it's so good and sweet. And then you get to the white part and you accidentally eat a big bite of it. Yeah. That's what that tastes like. And you're like, like ooh, ooh, my teeth went too good. far. <laughs> that's yeah. not quite as good. Yeah. Uh, that's what that tastes like. It's the rind mm -hmm. part, the white part. There is a, it's, yes, it leaves a harshness. Yeah. It leaves, it's um, it's, it's, it's kind of earthy. It's kind of an earthy flavor. If you're wondering, what does the rind taste like? It's, it's just kind of an earthy, it's bitter. It's a very, very harsh, bitter uh, flavor. And so it tastes like watermelon, but then all that you're left with is that harshness. Yeah. Um, and I, I a bunch of seeds or something. But I, it's just, yeah, I, I do I not know. like that at all. So it will be very interesting to see how many people do like that. How long it stays around. How long it'll stay around. Yeah, I'm really surprised because Sunkissed mm -hmm. is normally ultra, ultra sweet. Um, I'm sure the lemon makes a difference, but I don't necessarily get the lemon. No. It's, it it's might a, add some of that tartness or something. Yeah, it's kind of all that Or maybe that's what on. shifts it from being really good watermelon to funky watermelon. Is what? Is the lemonade. Oh, the, yeah, the, the lemonade. might make it not taste Maybe. as good. Maybe if they just made it watermelon, it would have been fun. Yeah, that, you, that's a great point. I that, still think it's funny how people, these go through taste testing stages for like months and months and months. It's funny how people drink that and go, oh yeah, that's, that that's watermelon good. lemonade. You know, yeah. it's like. And then you would want the company to sink all that money into making it and coming up with the labels and all that. Um, wouldn't you rather just be honest with them? And well, say, they probably are honest, but to them it tastes like that. It just doesn't taste anything like that does. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, which one are you buying again? Um, probably the, the face. The ghost. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, the ghost is my favorite of the three, but they're very, very different. All of these are different. I'm yeah. never buying that sun again. Yeah, Neither one of us would buy that, buy that again. But these two, they're very, very different flavors. Either I would, one of them are good. I would accept either one of them, yeah. but the Ghost is my favorite of the two. But if somebody offered me one of these monsters, I would definitely take it. I just don't think you should expect strawberry. Right, exactly. So if you had this back at Valentine's Day, like I said, I don't even know if they sell them now. Let us know. What did you think of it? Did you think it really tasted like strawberry? Because we're just not getting it. Yeah, that's more orangey. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.